Ciao e benvenuti. This week we continue to explore Italian indefinite articles and demonstrative pronouns by focusing on plural forms. If you're interested in the singular of these articles and pronouns, don't forget to check out last week's video. A worksheet with the exercises included in this video is available to download. Please check the description box for the link to the PDF file. The title of this lesson might be a bit misleading as far as Italian indefinite articles are concerned. In fact, the question one should ask when learning about these articles is, do they actually have a plural? The answer is no. In Italian, plural indefinite articles do not exist. So how do we convert singular indefinite articles un, uno, una and un with apostrophe into plural? To make up for the lack of plural indefinite articles, we use partitive articles. Partitive articles are used to indicate unspecified or generic quantities. Plural partitive articles result from the combination of preposition di with plural definite articles i, gli or le. There are two masculine plural partitive articles in Italian, one formed by preposition di plus article i, dei, and one formed by preposition di and article gli, degli. But there is only one plural feminine partitive article, and that results from the combination of preposition di plus article le, delle. All three are equivalent to English some or any for interrogative or negative sentences. Let's see how to use partitive articles in front of plural nouns. We use plural partitive article dei before masculine nouns starting with a consonant, for example, dei ragazzi, dei padri. And we use plural partitive article degli in front of masculine nouns starting with either a vowel or with x, y, z, s plus consonant, ps, pn and ny. And here are some examples. Degli uomini, degli zaini, degli stivali, degli gnocchi. For the feminine, we use plural partitive article delle in front of nouns starting with either a consonant or a vowel. For example, delle bambine, delle isole. Let's now look at some examples where we change singular indefinite articles into plural partitive articles. Starting with the masculine, un tavolo becomes dei tavoli in the plural. Un ombrello becomes degli ombrelli. Uno studente becomes degli studenti. Moving on to feminine nouns, una penna becomes delle penne in the plural and un'ora becomes delle ore in the plural. Now pause the video and convert the singular indefinite articles and nouns into plural partitive articles and nouns. Once you're done, resume the video to check the answers. In Italian, we have two plural demonstrative pronouns equivalent to English pronoun these. Questi for the masculine, queste for the feminine. And there are two plural demonstrative pronouns equivalent to English pronoun those. Quelli for the masculine, quelle for the feminine. In the previous lesson, we used sentences with singular demonstrative pronouns similar to this one. Questo è un biscotto. This is a biscuit. The same sentence in the plural can be written in two different ways. 
Questi sono biscotti. Questi sono dei biscotti. Despite a slight difference in meaning, both sentences can be translated into English as these are biscuits. The obvious difference is that in the first one, as in English, the article is omitted, whereas in the second one we use the plural partitive article they. Let's look at a few more examples of these types of sentences. Questi sono palloncini. Queste sono delle caramelle buonissime. Quelli sono fiori di plastica. Quelle sono compagne di scuola. Now pause the video, read each sentence carefully to spot any incorrect plural demonstrative pronouns, then rewrite the sentences correctly. Make sure the grammatical gender of each demonstrative pronoun matches that of the noun it refers to. These sentences do not include plural partitive articles. Once you're done, resume the video to check the answers. And that's all for this lesson. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Grazie e arrivederci!